Welcome back. New at midday soon, all first responders in Southern Nevada will have a new place to train for events like one October. Construction for a $25 million training center is now underway. And 13 Action News reporter Kelsey T McFarland talked with Sheriff Joe Lombardo about how this benefits our community. It's a dirt lot now, but the building that will be built here will reportedly be big enough to allow the largest fire truck in the county to drive in and out. These renderings show what will be a reality based training center. It's being called a world class facility. Governor Steve Sisolak, Sheriff Joe Lombardo, the mayor of North Las Vegas and other public officials unveiling the plans in a press conference. The project includes two buildings, one for classroom training and administration. The other will have training areas that look like casinos, convenience stores, apartment buildings, all environments that are as close as possible to the real thing. Sheriff Joe Lombardo says the goal is to have all local agencies training alongside each other so that they are ready for large scale incidents. When we have a critical incident, it rises beyond my resources. So we have to bring in North Las Vegas and Henderson and Boulder City um, more often than not than we ever used to. And so I think it's important that the guy standing next to you knows what to do as the guy standing next to you. Uh, we, we experienced a little bit of that uh, angst during 1 October when we had all the police agencies and how we respond in a tactical manner. Sheriff Lombardo says he already has requests from 80 plus agencies hoping to get their crews inside, but non-local crews will have to pay a fee. The project cost is slated at $25 million. The foundation has raised 17 million of that. None of it is paid for by tax dollars. It's all privately funded. Those behind the planning say it will take years for construction to be complete. I'm Kelsey McFarland, 13 Action News.